Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. and I'm here at CES 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm joined by Werner Strut from Bosch. Werner, thanks very much for taking the time to talk. A pleasure. It seems to me that automotive really is the star of the show here at CES. Why do you think it's such a big deal? Is it the amount of innovation? What's making it really push forward to the front of the industry's attention? I think that automotive has turned a very important part of the CES meanwhile. Uh -huh. yeah? And uh, the reason why uh, we have that amount of attractiveness most likely is that we have very thrilling issues to discuss with the consumers. That is all about the HMI, the main machine interface that we are delivering. That is uh, the introduction of new entertainment-like uh, functions in the car, but that is also about automated driving, and that is one of the most thrilling issues that we are discussing here at the CES. Okay, and we've heard a lot about automatic driving, different names for it, pilot, piloted, driverless, uh, depends which car manufacturer you talk to. How far away do you think that realistically is, and will it come in one go, or will it come by levels? Allow me one sentence before, uh, in order to explain you the motivation of Bosch. Our motto is invented for life. So we are doing things that ease and enhance the quality of life. Mm -hmm. And amongst them is the vision of injury-free and accident-free driving. And that is one of the reasons why we are dealing with automated driving. Automated driving, let's say fully automated driving, still is far away. It will be in a market at a certain point of time. But what we see today is we have various modules that are already today available for very specific and clearly defined driving conditions, like the parking maneuver assist, yeah? like the pedestrian protection assist with emergency brake, like adaptive cruise control, lane keeping support, lane change support, and all those functions. Imagine a huge puzzle and the resolution of the puzzle is getting better year right. over year. Okay, so more and more detail coming in. And interestingly, you talk about the infotainment, driverless, all those different issues. It's two supply chains almost almost merging together. The automotive industry, which is quite conservative, long R&D cycles, high reliability requirements, and then consumer electronics, where it's faster. Things come to market and move on from the market much quicker. How do you deal with that from a a development, an engineering point of view, but also from a manufacturing point of view. As an automotive supplier, I would conclude that my perception of the automotive industry is it is very fast. Mm -hmm. So don't underestimate the speed of the automotive industry. And if you if you see to the North Hall here in CES, what's ongoing there, most likely you have been there already, you see that uh, our customers, the car manufacturers, are very fast and ahead. Um, I think that two worlds obviously meet. The one is the consumer electronics and the other one is the automotive. We call it the red world and the blue world. Right. Yeah? And it is as it is. And the question is whether we want to be an important part of that and we think we are or whether we want it, you can't ignore it. Mm. You know? And connectivity, availability of data, music, information and so on is something that car drivers definitely request us to deliver. Mm. So we are part of the game. So you become an interface between the red world and the blue world. And because you're an OEM specifically with skills in the automotive industry, does that allow you to become the bridge between consumer electronics and the automotive industry? Something that perhaps the car manufacturers can't do themselves? I think that uh, we are not just an interface, we are part of both. Mm. We are doing both, the red world and the blue world. And that is uh, not at least uh, one of the reasons why Bosch has a unique position in order to manage the interface. Now yeah. we are at the inter interface that you manage. And um, I think that uh, with respect to the technology platform, uh, it's a good sharing of tasks if suppliers like Bosch, for example, if Bosch provides the technical platform for our customers, and the customers, they have excellent ideas about the functions that are delivered to the end user. Yeah. And the function is what makes the difference, provided the platform is appropriate to do so. Okay, and um, the automotive industry globally is also going through some major changes. We're seeing more and more car manufacturers pop up in China. Last time I was out at the China Motor Show, lots of brands we'd never even heard of. Someone, one of the uh, contract manufacturers there told me there were 100 car brands in China. What kind of challenge does that present to Bosch in terms of global footprint, in terms of delivering, in terms of technology for all those regions? We are active in China and uh, we have a large production and engineering base in China uh, for both for the Western OEMs building up joint ventures in China with uh, the local OEMs, but also for um, uh, the local OEMs having no Western partner. And uh, yes, 
that is a huge variety of car manufacturers uh, that we have to deal with as a manufacturer, as a supplier. But on the other hand, we clearly see that there will a certain consolidation uh, take part in, in the Chinese automotive industry. And um, yeah, our experience as Bosch is that from the pure Chinese car manufacturers, we are an appreciated partner because they know that we deliver, sorry for that, reliable technology with mm. a very high quality level, but which is not necessarily only designed for um, the high-end functions, but also for uh, functions and uh, uh, basic design requirements as we see them in emerging markets. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, um, and and last last question. I don't know if it was yourself or perhaps the um, the uh, Rupert from Audi that in their keynote talked about German engineering meeting with Silicon Valley to to produce these innovative ideas, but really well engineered. And you talk about engineering and reliability. Right, right. Do you think it's a coincidence that so many of the leaders in this sector are German companies? I think that if you talk about automotive industry. Uh, Germany is the birthplace of, mm. uh, of the automotive industry, basically. So um, we had the nose ahead, so to say, and uh, managed, fortunately, um, to have a strong position. But uh, we definitely need also to look at what's going on here in the US mm. uh, as a very strong automotive market. And we, as Bosch, do consider the US in many aspects as the leading market in the world yeah. for some applications. Yeah. And uh, although the question is not fully answered yet or the decision is not fully pronounced yet, I think that especially in case of driver assistance, the US market will play a very important role. And uh, this is what, what we have identified and yeah. understood very early. So we are since years in Palo yeah. Alto. Yeah. yeah, We are in Pittsburgh yeah. and in other important locations. So we are part of the game in Silicon Valley. And you're a global manufacturer, a global buyer. We are a global manufacturer, right, okay. with a global footprint. Fantastic. Werner, thank you very much for that insight. Thank Thanks you so for your much. time. Speak again soon. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.